What's up? I'm back. So if you're wondering, for the last two weeks I've had the flu, but I told you that I would post the five ways that we sabotage ourselves in our relationships. I need to be a man of my word. So what I'll do is this. Every day until Sunday, I'm gonna post a new video, which will be all of the five. I already gave you one uh, from the previous video. You can go to the link at the bottom of this video. Uh, or you can hit the card that you'll see. But I want to get right into it. And the reason I'm doing it every day instead of every Wednesday is because there's still some more material that I need to give you guys before this year ends out. The second way that we sabotage our love life is when we resent our partner for succeeding. So let me give it to you this way. If you're anything like me, whenever I see that my wife is happy, I get happy. I like to see her confident. I like to see her secure in herself. I like to see that, you know, she can pat herself on the back because it makes me feel good to know that she feels good. But it wasn't always that way. You know, I even dealt with my own insecurities uh, when we started dating. My wife has personal ambitions and I didn't want her to get too far into her ambitions or her career or her dreams because I felt like she would just kick me to the side. And I think I have to be transparent with you in that way because I know some of you who are watching this video, you probably are experiencing the same thing or maybe your partner is the person who constantly resents you succeeding. Let me relate to you one-on-one, -on -one, all right? I got you, listen. I know you love your boo so much and you just wanna hold on to him as tight as you can. Uh, you don't want them to go too far because maybe you run that risk of losing them or perhaps you have that fear that if they get too far into their career, too far into their personal ambitions, then they're just gonna kick you to the side and forget about you. But you have to give your partner that window that, that, that leash to do what they have to do. The worst thing that you can be in your relationship is controlling. And once you start to resent your partner for succeeding in their own life, you are a controller. A controller doesn't want their partner to be happy. They want their partner to make them happy at all times, no matter what the cost. And my question to you is, if you say that you love your partner, is that really love? Love isn't all about receiving, it's all about giving. Love isn't about holding you, it's about being free. So, if you say that you love your boo, the best gift that you can give them is that gift of freedom and the gift of encouragement. To tell them whatever it is that you plan to do, uh, if you wanna put your hands to the plow, I'm in support of you. Go with it 100%, go for it. I've got your back. I know for you it may be a little difficult to, to ease up on the reins. Uh, because of whatever past issues you may have experienced. Perhaps you were in a relationship where you gave your all to a person and they just left you flat on your face. Whatever you may be struggling with, you cannot bring the past into your present and you definitely cannot allow the, the ghost of your past to affect your partner because it will negatively affect your future. So you guys know that I don't like to give just problems. I wanna give you a solution. Here it is, very simple. Instead of resenting your partner's success, celebrate their success. No matter how small, no matter how huge, celebrate it like it's the best thing in the world. Because I'm telling you, you will get a return. Now check this, if your partner is succeeding so much in life that they do end up leaving you, you have to take it like this. I tried my best, but I'm glad I got the lesson. And the lesson is, you weren't the person for me in the first place. The best thing to do to not sabotage your love life in this second video is remember to celebrate your partner's successes because it is going to be a game changer for your love life. As always, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you like my festive treat. My name is Sharif Ali II, Mr. Aim For I Am, and I help couples find creative ways to love one another. And if no one has told you, allow me to be the first. I see the supreme lover in you. Blessings.